welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, folks, I just checked the calendar and let me just apologize now because <laughs> it's been about 11 months since my last favorites video. So we have a whole lot to catch up on today. But before we get into today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell boo so you don't miss when I upload another video. And if you enjoyed today's video, I would greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because that really helps support my channel. And of course, per usual, if you are interested in any single product that I mentioned here today and you finna buy it anyway, please make sure that you shop via the links down below in the description box because that also helps to support my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Now, since it's been so long since my last favorites video, I have a number of new products that I want to share with you all today. A number of them I may have mentioned in passing, whether it be in a haul or in a vlog, but y'all don't watch my vlogs. So most of these products y'all ain't never heard of anyway. So let's go ahead and dive into body care. Now, this first product is definitely a little bit random. I did mention this in one of my previous hauls. I'll make sure I leave that haul linked up in the cards. This is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. And listen, if you know, you know, I have extremely dry hands. I do a lot of hand washing as everyone should. I also use a lot of hand sanitizer and my hands get so dry to the point where they crack, okay? They be dry and they be flaky. I needed this, I needed this. I actually got the mini of this hand set in a holiday gift set with a couple of other Kiehl's products. This has been super moisturizing and softening to my hands without leaving my hands feeling greasy. And a little bit of this goes a very long way, which I absolutely love because Kiehl's ain't cheap. I will say the only caveat with this hand set is it does have a temporary medicinal smell to it, but the smell is only for a little bit. This right here has been an absolute game changer for me and I have decided that I will never have another cold season without having this in my bag. And 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. Next up for body care, I have this Pacifica Vegan Collagen Body Milk Spray. And this was gifted to me by Pacifica. I don't know if I included this in that haul because Pacifica sent me a whole lot of stuff, but I'll make sure I leave that haul linked in the cards as well. Next up for body care is this Pacifica Vegan Collagen Body Milk Spray. And this was sent to me in PR and I had very, very, very low expectations. I just knew that this was going to be watery and thin and not really moisturizing to the skin at all but first of all this comes out very aggressively literally like spray paint i don't even want to spray too much because a little bit of this absolutely goes a long way if you spray too much of this you are going to be rubbing in the moisturizer for a very long time this just makes me feel soft and moisturized and gives just like a subtle natural healthy glow to the skin and it does all of that for my very dry skin without making me feel greasy also really enjoy I don't know if it's gonna pick up yet. And I also really enjoy how you can lock the cap, which is super convenient and super functional, which I love because you don't have to worry about the product leaking or spilling. This has been absolutely amazing for me to apply to my skin freshly out of the shower. And again, 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. So that's it for my body care favorites. Let's go ahead and dive into makeup. I recently got the opportunity to choose some new products from Dior Beauty to test out. And when I say they swiftly became favorites, I'm obsessed. Listen, if you are a bougie auntie like myself, you can count on Dior to give you high quality, iconic products from makeup to fragrance, okay? So not only are you gonna be looking good, you're gonna be smelling good too. This first makeup product I also mentioned previously in a haul that I'll leave linked in the cards. So this is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Full Coverage Creamy Concealer. And FYI, this is in the shade 4W. I actually picked this up off of the recommendation of my good sis, Denise Adore. She has raved about this concealer on her channel and I did use it on my face today. I'll make sure I include some clips. Now this shade 4W is pretty much my skin tone so I use this as an all over base to cover up my dark spots as well as the burn that I have on my head that I'll tell you all about another time. This concealer gives me fantastic coverage without being too heavy or cakey and while this concealer at least on my skin does dry down, it dries down without being drying. Simply put, I ain't a spring chicken no more so I can't be using those super drying mattifying concealers under my eyes especially anymore because it just 
it just isn't really flattering. Now you all know if you've been following me for a while that I don't like to do too, too much when it comes to my makeup. I still like my freckles to peek through and I just want to look like myself, but well rested. And this gives me exactly that. Even though it's full coverage, it's still buildable. So I'm able to kind of gauge it and customize it to my own personal makeup preferences. And I recommend you do the very same. I'm definitely going to be getting this in my highlighter shade as well and amazing, love it. Also from Dior, I have been loving this Color Awakening Universal Blush and this is in the shade Rosy Glow. This is so pigmented and so radiant on the skin. I am wearing it today and I might have went a little ham but I regret nothing. It's just gorgeous and you need to get your hands on it. And the last makeup product that I want to mention to you all today is this Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. I have mentioned this lip glow oil previously on the channel, but I did have it in another shade. I believe the shade was mahogany. But this time for spring and summer, I decided to go with the shade Coral. And while it has a little bit of pigment to it, it still looks really natural. So I can wear this with or without makeup. I absolutely love these lip oils. They make my lips look really juicy and they're super moisturizing even long after the glossy look has gone away, which is necessary, especially in these cold months. Yes, I was lucky enough to be gifted this lip oil, but I have purchased this very same lip oil with my very own money, and I absolutely love it. This re-up couldn't have come at a better time because I was scraping the bottom of my other tube, and I am going to be wearing this out. And just in case you're feeling bougie and extra, you can get your Dior lip oil personalized via the Dior.com engraving studio. Don't trip, I'll make sure I leave all of this information down below but this lip oil honey you need it and like I said I'm a creature of habit especially when it comes to my makeup so let's go ahead and dive into fragrances this first fragrance I suppose you can count as an update of sorts to my last full bottle worthy video in that video I enjoyed the fragrance and said that I would get a travel size but since this opportunity came about with Dior I went ahead and got the one ounce this is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum and not really sure if the camera is picking it up because of how bright my lighting is but I did get my bottle engraved fragrances are also able to be engraved on the Dior.com website as well and it just adds a personal just extra cute touch to this already just adorable bottle look at her just just precious Miss Dior is a really pretty fresh floral fragrance and it's going to be absolutely perfect for me to throw into my spring rotation. And yes, although it feels like spring is never coming where I live, my spring fragrance video is coming soon on the channel and trust to believe this will definitely be in the rotation. So yes, I am very excited to have this in the collection. Miss Dior, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary people. I also got this cute little bag of samples with my Dior order as well. I got a few fragrance samples and I'll probably go more in depth in this in a full bottle worthy video in the future. But I got from the Dior Privé line, the Oud Ispahan sample. My lighting is too bright. Also got the traditional two mil sample sprays of Lucky and Amber Nui from the Dior Privé line as well. And I'll definitely be diving into these in a full bottle worthy video in the future. So stay tuned for that. As usual, I'll make sure I leave all of the information down below in the description box to make it nice and easy for you to shop. And special thanks to Dior for gifting me all of these goodies. Another fragrance that I have been obsessed with lately is this newest release from Prada. And this is Paradox, which which I have also mentioned previously on the channel and I'll make sure I leave that linked in the cards. I have shared Paradox with you all on this channel before. This is definitely another really pretty floral fragrance but this is a bit more warm and sweet to me than Miss Dior and I absolutely love this. Paradox in my opinion is Valentino Donna Born in Roma and Giorgio Armani's love child. Paradox is definitely not a super unique or innovative fragrance, but it is pretty and it is easy to wear. So if you are a fan of Giorgio Armani My Way or Valentino Donna Born Aroma, definitely get your nose on this. This next fragrance I've been super obsessed with, so much so that I had to stop myself from reaching for it for some time because this is a little pricey. This is Bond Number no. 9 in Greenwich Village. And I'm pretty sure I have shared this on the channel previously, so I'll make sure I leave that video linked in the cards. Greenwich Village, first of all, is too expensive to spray on a test strip, but this is just 
effortless, beautiful, clean girl aesthetic. This is fresh, but it's got some depth to it. There's a little bit of sweetness in the base from that Ambroxan. And because of the Ambroxan, a lot of people compare this to Baccarat Rouge. And I will say that there are definitely some similarities to Baccarat Rouge, but respectfully, no disrespect to the OG, I like Greenwich Village better. It's just, it just performs better on my skin. And it doesn't do that disappearing act that Baccarat Rouge often does on my skin. I haven't even had Greenwich Village in my collection for a full year yet, but I have worn it in all four seasons because it applies. It applies. Because you can get it out applies. my face. You better not touch because me. Because it applies. Don't. And it's very short time in my collection. Greenwich Village has already made its way to my four life list hands down. So that's it for fragrances. Let's go ahead and dive into skincare. So first off for skincare is this the Inky List Salicylic Acid Cleanser. And shout out to my good sis Denise Adore for putting me on to this. This, this is a $10 holla. This is a super affordable and a effective cleanser. This cleanser, as it says, has salicylic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant. So this helps to get deep down into my very congested enlarged pores and clear out all of the extra oil and dirt and whiteheads, blackheads, sebaceous filaments, whatever you want to call it. This helps to attack all of that and it does all of that very gently. It also helps with hyperpigmentation as well. This has been major key especially with this burn that I told you all about earlier I have been loving this and I will definitely definitely be repurchasing when I run out it's affordable why not this next skincare product I'm almost positive I have raved to you all about on the channel before but I recently burned my forehead with a curling wand don't ask I'm clumsy I don't know if y'all can really see it but yeah you can see it that's where I burned my forehead, but I'll go ahead and insert a clip so that way you all can see how clear this burn is. But this product that I'm about to share with you all, again, in conjunction with the Fountain of Youth, if you know, you know, healed the scar from the burn so very quickly. This is the Youth to the People Triple Peptide and Cactus Oasis Serum. Oh, I wish this wasn't so expensive, but damn if it don't work. This serum here, I ain't gonna hold you. It is definitely pricey, but it is absolutely worth the money because it does every single thing that it says it's going to do. This serum is hydrating, it's plumping, and it leaves my skin smooth and glowy without feeling sticky. I'll be sure to include the very embarrassing photos of the burn on my forehead. I also burned my chest, but Irregardless, this did a fantastic job at helping to heal my burn and just keeping my skin soft, supple, hydrated, glowy, radiant goodness. And I love that for me. And lastly is arguably the most important step in any skincare routine, and that is an SPF. This is the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. And shout out to my good sis Sheree Del So for putting me on to this. This thus far has been the best sunscreen I have ever, ever, ever tried. Not only is this SPF 50, not only is this PA++++, not only does this not leave a white cast, not only does this give a healthy radiant glow to the skin, this doesn't burn my eyes. If you have not tried this, what are you doing? Love yourself. All right, now let's go ahead and dive into why most of y'all are here anyway, and that is my favorite hair products. So first off for hair, I'm not gonna lift this up because it's heavy, I'll just insert a picture. My Revair, listen, if you in any way have been contemplating getting a Revair, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Wash days, as we all know, take long enough, but the Revair has saved me so much time, so much energy, and so much hair. I have pretty much switched up my whole regimen when it comes to caring for my natural hair these days, and the Revair has been a game changer okay i love to use my rev air to blow out my hair on wash day before styling i even love to use my rev air on a lower setting to stretch my hair out after styling if my shrinkage was just shrinkage and a little bit too much for me the rev air just gives what it was supposed to have gave and if you have been contemplating i have a link as well as a coupon code down below in the description box and last but not least for hair care is this african pride rose water and argon oil curl mousse and shout out again to my good sis sheree for putting me on to this this 
Now listen, some of us have been trying to put y'all on setting lotion, foam, and mousse for years at this point, and y'all wasn't really listening until it became more popular and mainstream to use mousse and foam in the natural hair community within the last year or two, but I won't even hold that against y'all. I have moved on to bigger and better things. This mousse right here, affordable, accessible, perfect flexible hold, shine, definition, all of the things. This has been my favorite mousse lately. Some of you may find this hard to believe, but this African Pride mousse right here has dethroned my lot of body bag. Yes, it has. If you have not tried this, click the link down below, get you some, you know what I'm saying? Try it out and thank me later. Unbelievable, I lost my entire outro, so sorry about that, but you all be sure to drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and on your way to watching another video of mine, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.